Good morning, welcome to the vlog. It's early in the morning, it's about quarter past six and I am out and about in Bath. We travel down, in fact, the Roman baths are just there, I think. And that is Bath Abbey, amazing building. I'm just on a little walk, everyone else is back at the hotel snoozing. We travel down yesterday, we're here for a couple of days. In fact, yesterday we stopped off at a little place in the Cotswolds on the way, Burton on the water, which was a beautiful little, I mean, all the villages in the Cotswolds are so adorable. So we stopped off there for a little bit. We have arrived in Burton on the water and oh my goodness, like it's an adorable little town, but absolutely heaving. <laughs> this, you can see behind me the grass is just full of people um, just having picnics or just enjoying the well kind of sun and rain. We've got sun right now but it was like just spitting a second ago. Oh, good dog. oh whoa look at that one. Like steam train with two men sat on them. Like engine thing. I think it's like something you yeah. like buy or like something you do with them. Whoa and there's a yeah and there's a big one pulling um, pulling a cart. Oh, I thought that was a real dog. We're not really going to stay here long. We're just start stretching our legs on a little wander. There is, I can just see over there, there's a motor museum. It did look quite good. I had a little look online, it looks good. But we're not going to do anything today. It's just a little, little stop off, stretch our legs. No, no, it doesn't fall in Absolutely heaving. drive down and we arrived last night maybe was it like four o'clock i think we arrived last night we have arrived we're leaving now in the car for a second whilst me and stephen go and check in that was a nightmare trying to find somewhere to park and we had a little wander around bath we went and got a pizza picnic from one of the restaurants and sat in a park really nice little evening we had this is our summer holiday for the year damn covid it's noisy isn't it look there's the uh big kind of waterfally thing down there um yeah this is our summer holiday we <laughs> i swore last year when we couldn't go abroad uh with the because of the foster children and our passport i swore that 2020 summer i was not gonna holiday in the uk but hey covid had other ideas so yeah this is this is our summer holiday after having our breakfast we all went on an explore of bath together one thing that I have learned is Bath is extremely, extremely hilly. We wandered up to the Circus, which is an historic street of townhouses which form a circle with three entrances. It was built in the 1760s and 50s and a little while later we walked past an estate agent and saw one of the properties going for a cool 1.6 mil. We then made a short walk to Victoria Park which was opened by Princess Victoria herself in 1830 when she was just 11. And we've just found this amazing like, kids park. It's absolutely huge this play area. It's in Victoria Park. It's absolutely massive so the kids are just having a play. And the weather is glorious and I'm pretty annoyed that I've got my uh, pants on to be honest. It's playing in the sand. You could draw with your stick. <gasps> Can you breathe? <laughs> Stephen's burying the kids in the sand. Where's your legs gone? Um, it all like enclosed with that. It is quite a little while later. The kids have had to sleep. We've been back at the hotel for a bit. We've just come out completely out of puff because we've come out to do the Bath Skyline walk. To get to the start of it, oh, it's a bit of um, a bit of a trek. 15, 20 minutes outside of the city, but the hills like that. So we're just having a little look at the map here. There's like different options that you can do, like a 10 mile, no, 10k, like a 10k, a 5k. And we just sort of see what we're going to do. We think we're probably going to do a shorter one. Oh, oh look, yeah. points of interest: Sham Castle, the little castle, Fire Park, Landscape Garden. <laughs> From what I saw, the dot is there where it says you were here, and the 
the dot is connected to this line, but it's not connected to that line. So is that clockwise? That anti-clockwise? That's anti-clockwise. That's anti-clockwise. Oh, yeah. okay. So you want to go that way, right? Sensible, taking a picture of the map. And we're gonna head in this direction. Apparently there's some good views over Bath. Next part of this walk takes us up. Stephen's kindly, oh he's running, oh my goodness. I'm not running, oh my goodness. We've got a challenge of a load of steps to go up. And we've got a buggy, so we're gonna take out and uh, see what we can do. One person carry the buggy, one person carry the child, one person carry another child. This was not my best idea. My wheel fell off halfway up. Stephen's had to grab it. <laughs> Thank you. All of that climbing and look, the view is blocked by these trees. We're going well, this away. There's a castle, sham castle. We're just doing a bit of, oh look, there's some here. Black bee picking. Oh, they're not quite. Oh, that. They're quite sour. Yeah. Lara's had one. She thinks they're quite sour. Oh. Oh yeah, they're very sour. I feel like no. when you first bite they're not ripe right for sure. And then yeah. it's like, whoo! I've left them down there at the bottom. Because we got to the bottom, I thought the castle was going to be there, but apparently the castle is back up this way. So I want to go back up and see it. And it seems like, like literally it's a sham. <laughs> I'm not going back up. I'm going up to see if I can see it. It might be a fail, but I'm going to have a look, see if I can find it. Oh my goodness, it's here. Can you see it? Just at the top there. See the gates that we walked through before? I'm back at this spot, up this way. Oh wow, actually, it was worth the walk, look. Sham Castle and turn around. Glorious views over Bath. I'm gonna take a picture and put Stephen there, pretend he was here. Oh, it was worth the walk back up. Oh. This is such hard work. I don't think, honestly, this uh, walk, the Bath skyline walk that we're doing, I don't think it's really suitable with. Well, it's definitely not suitable with a buggy. I mean, like, just look at the terrain. Not suitable with a buggy, and like, just with kids and like with Lara and everyone, it's just quite difficult. I mean, like me, Stephen, and Lara could do it, but just with the added kids and things, I don't think we're gonna probably continue it. We might just like come off off the path now and kind of find roads to go on to get back down to um, to the city, which is a shame because I kind of wanted to have a hike around. But I mean. Hey, what can you do? You should have made a slide. I think, oh, a slide would be nice. I think that's our up finish. We're on our way down now. Oh. I'm gonna find somewhere for a picnic. Whew. This is nice. We found, no, we don't have to come back up. This is the way down. Bathwick fields, no fires or barbecues. We could just sit in this field here. This is our picnic spot. We're gonna stop oh. here. We've got lovely views. What is it? A ladybird. Oh, oh it can't get up your watch. <laughs> oh, it can. That was a lovely picnic. We're just going to sit here and enjoy the field and the view. And oh, kids are falling over. It's a bit of a hill. <laughs> It's the following day and that walk last night kind of went a little bit wrong. Um, we're going to attempt it again today. We've tried to do, it was the family discovery trail. 
it wasn't it was there was steps and all sorts we've had a little look last night and we're going to hopefully try it a little bit later on to the family discovery trail where it's like wheelchair friendly so we can do it no problems we've come out today to we've come to the Cotswolds to a little town well a little village called um castle coop i'm just having a little explore weirdly quiet do you not think yeah. it's just weird but it is like when we used to go out and yeah <laughs> yeah oh yeah we walked around Castle Coombe for a little while. It's such an adorable little village. The buildings are all made of Cotswolds honey coloured stone and outside the locals' homes you could buy like little handmade cakes and biscuits and flowers and you just like would put your cash in the little boxes that were outside their houses. Um, not really sure what I thought about it to be honest, it wasn't like, I don't know, it was it was quite nice just doing a little wander around but yeah it was alright. We have now come back to the place we had our tea last night, the picnic, we're now back here and we've just had our picnic lunch again. We just have a nice relax, we bought like little sun tents for the kids to have a relaxing and we were all just lying in the sun, it's turned out quite nice so. Pearl Harbour? Yeah. I don't know. I've just left everyone for a little while back up there. Kids are asleep. Everyone's just kind of chilling out on the picnic blanket after lunch. And I've just come out for a little walk by myself. It's just nice to be able to walk without like a buggy or a child or a lava on my arm or something. So I've just come for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. I think when I go back up this hill, I might be able to see them. I didn't know there was going to be cows in this field. They're not too bothered with me, but I've got to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of walking through fields with cows in. Oh, I am pretty out of puff. Walking up those steps, I can just see where they are in the distance. I said to Stephen, I'm going to go up those steps in the distance and I'm going to give you a wave. And he's like, well, I won't be looking. <laughs> so, but I'll give him a wave anyway, just in case he can see me. Oh, right. I'm gonna head back down now. Did you see me waving at you? Oh, what? I didn't get to that hill, I only got to those steps. It was a steep bit down and a steep bit back up again. Then we went on to try and find the Family Discovery Trail, part of the Skyline Walk that we failed the night before. Feel free to roam this field and forage for a juicy ripe blackberry. Plucked fresh from the bramble bushes between August and October. Going on the hunt. Oh, I've not got the right shoes on because there's nettles and things. I can't get to them, they're all like in the middle. You can never reach blackberries. You see them all like up. I'm going to sneeze. Oh. <coughs> Bless me. Oh my goodness. Oh, Stephen's going in the bush. Careful, it's brambles. Can you get them there? Did it come off dead easy? Oh, oh, those ones are good there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we've said this. We need to bring um, Nana's grabber when we go blackberry picking. Last one, he says. Oh, he's picked five. Thank you. Mm -mm. Who wants a blackberry? Mm -mm. Let's see if these are nice. You want a blackberry? Oh, they're delicious. I wish I could get more. Mm. Do you want one? Do you want one, Lara? Please. Sorry, I should have let you add first dibs, shouldn't I, really? I picked five. Yeah. <laughs> Go and see the woodland play area. Oh, it's quite nice, this little woodland play area. Our kids are a little bit too small, though, to be honest. Oh, oh, that's not very nice. Oh, and like a rope thing. Oh, isn't it nice? Just like a, a wildy in the woods kind of play area. 
This is like your heaven, isn't it? <laughs> a play area like this and just grabbing sticks and stuff. And <laughs> Look what Stephen's got, oh my goodness. Oh. Good morning, it is the following day and we have come to the Roman baths this morning. Masks aren't mandatory until the 8th of August but we're wearing them. It's not fun I've got to say, <laughs> not a fun experience but we have our audio guys. Oh, we can see them just out this window here. We've come at, um, what's it called? Accessible. Accessible time so it's not open to the public at this time, it's just for disabled so hopefully it's nice and quiet. Well, that's where we sit. <laughs> where we are here is a terrace that was completed in 1897, which was when the Roman baths were opened to the public. The swimming bath below is just one part of the whole Roman site, Roman which included extensive baths and a major temple complex built around a hot spring. Modern ground level is four metres above what was the Roman ground level. Here they're talking about the statues. It is a great relief to see that they survived the journey from your studio without mishap. Yeah. Once we had lifted the first one into place, it seemed much easier to install the others. And, and if I may say so, Mr. Ryan, the interior of your new building over there certainly is a resonance for me with some of the grand classical buildings in Rome. You're very kind. So the Duke of Cambridge is coming to Rome. Yes, he is. It is said to be a grand occasion. There are certainly a lot of excitement to be about the prospect of it. Overflow here, surplus water from the spring poured into a Roman drain and flowed onto the river. Whoa! Oh my goodness! driven for a little while our next little outing for the day is um somerset lavender to some lavender fields farm shop and cafe lavender fields should we go to the lavender fields first oh here's the la no drones here's the lavender field steven's just said has made a good point what's the point other than to what steven see it smell it and see it smell it and leave <laughs> and it smelt it might be what we're doing seeing it smelling it and leaving because it might have some of Oh yeah. We have wanted to come to Lavender Fields for a long time. We were do it, gonna do it near our house and then they closed down. Wait. Yeah. And oh, then we well, yeah. 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 Countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in 
going on at the abbey and the street cleaners and things out so it's quite noisy but um we're just out on a little walk well i'm just out on a little walk with the kids it's our last morning we leave bath today we're gonna go we've got breakfast to have um at the hotel and then we have got one more little trip to prior it's a, it's a national trust place it's prior park i think it's called uh we're going there first thing before we head off i love bath definitely love bath i'm gonna come back one day when the world is covid free hopefully um without children just to like do some walks and like do some different exploring really love the city we have eaten our breakfast checked out of the hotel and we're just at our last little spot the prior park landscape gardens that i said before before we leave bath we just it's just like a one-way system to walk around these gardens it's quite nice there's just a little kids play area that we're in at the moment kids are having a play round and round and round round and round the garden you're about to explore is the creation of one man, Ralph Allen. He built the house and garden as a showcase for all of Bath to admire. As you wander along the winding paths, you'll follow in the footsteps of Allen's rich and influential guests, the cream of the 18th century society. There's a sun in the sky, there's a cloud drifting by. All kinds of birds make you wish you could fly. And in the distance I see someone waving at me I hope that it's you, but who else could it be? I guess it would be nice to belong 